Welcome to Computer Science Connections, Coding with Poetry. This module makes connections between ELA and computer science. Specifically, it can introduce, reinforce, or extend any student learning related to poem writing. If you're teaching about imagery, mood, and tone, or just want to get your students coding, you've come to the right place. In this module, students will use Sprite Lab to bring a poem to life by illustrating a shift in mood and animating images that appear on screen. Students will code their own original poem by adding backgrounds, effects, sounds, and sprites. The main computer science concepts in this module are events. In coding, there are cause and effect relationships we trigger with events. An event is an action that tells a specific chunk of code to run. Events allow us to change our programs in real time. For example, by assigning a spin right behavior with a mouse click event, we can command this hamburger to spin to the right when it's clicked. There are four lessons in this module. In lesson one, students will animate a poem by using code to illustrate the mood. Lesson two is an unplugged lesson in which students will plan and write their own poem based on their life and personal experiences. In lesson three, students will enter their own poem into the play space and then use code to add backgrounds, effects, sounds, and sprites. In the final unplugged lesson, students will share their poem apps with a partner and participate in a poetry circle. Often, students try to snap a green event block under the win run block, but this won't work. The event block stands on its own and any code added to it will run when the event is triggered. Encourage students to frequently test their code. They will need to press run, then use the play space to trigger the event. A student might encounter a bug if their sprite costume selections are inconsistent. Have students double check that they've selected the correct costume to call the intended sprite. In this example, the coder wants the wave sprite to increase in size when line four shows. However, the coder mistakenly assigned the dog sprite to increase in size. Because there is no dog in the play space, nothing will happen. To debug, change the dog sprite costume to the wave sprite costume in the event block. If students struggle to enter their own poem, model how to use the drop down menu above the play space to select Enter My Own, enter the poem title, author name, and poem text. In every lesson plan, discussion questions are coupled with discussion goals. Check for understanding and promote student reflection by incorporating these discussion questions into your teaching. This module is aligned to Common Core ELA standards and the Computer Science Teachers Association standards in order to align to the concepts you already teach. To help you think of ways to integrate, ask yourself, how might this module support the content I am already teaching? And should I use this module to introduce, reinforce, or extend student learning on this topic? Review the concepts of poetry and introduce vocabulary like line, mood, and poem with your students. Use the provided slideshow to introduce these concepts and test the vocabulary within the context of the lesson. Don't forget about the hide and show feature for each lesson. It's best practice to only show the lessons students are currently working on. If you do not hide the following lessons, students will move to the next lesson automatically. Before teaching the module, complete each coding level on your own. 
You can write and code your own poem as an example for students. Make sure to review the lesson plans and additional resources. Code.org provides resources like slides, student handouts, and helpful hints to help you and your students get started.